Good morning, guys. We are in Cancun, Mexico. We are on the Playa del Carmen Beach. Uh, we're actually here on a vacation, Aaron and I and the whole family. Uh, but I have brought a nice 13-foot pole and a travel tube, and I brought all my surf fishing plugs. Today, I want to teach you guys how to use the most popular surf fishing plugs and lures out there. All right, so there's, there's a few different categories of lures that I like to use on the surf or whether I'm fishing on the rocks, when I'm fishing salt water. That's top water, so anything that stays at the top and makes commotion. Subsurface, stuff that stays right below the surface and makes a lot of movement under the water, maybe provides a lot of flash. Then we've got like spoons and metal jigs, stuff like that. And then we've got swim baits and divers. So typically early, early in the morning, when the sun is just coming up like this, you would throw top water. Um, you've got a small window of opportunity with top water because the water has not warmed up yet, the sun is not fully up, and fish are not as weary during sunrise. They're ready to feed and, and you know, willing and ready to strike anything. So earlier I found a, a big dead mullet yeah. on the rocks. So I'm actually gonna try and match that color. This is a tsunami popper. Now, above that, I've got a trailer hook. So now, it looks like this fish is chasing a bait fish. And that mullet that we found looks like it's been torn up by some kind of fish or something, I don't know. Yeah. Now the important part about this, about throwing these lures, is you have to be throwing it with the right rod. Mm -hmm. I am throwing our, my brand new Phoenix rod. It's a 13 foot rod, and man, this thing it really can heave it out there. You like it? I really, really like it. And I want to give our friend Jonathan from Phoenix Rods a big thank you for helping us custom select this. This guy has been helping me like pick out the perfect rod for my, my kind of fishing. And uh, I've been really liking it so far. Okay, with these you want to cast it as far as you can or cast it to a busting area of fish that you see. But I don't see anything. So we're gonna just search. Now with this rod, with this big surf setup, put it between your legs, like this, right? And what you're gonna do, is pull it up here, hop, reel in the slack. Hop, reel in the slack. See, this is a little bit faster of a retrieve. You're, you're just pulling this up. You can sit there like this and, and try and do it, but that's gonna take a lot more energy. Keep it between your legs. And now I'm gonna do a pop, pop, pause. Meanwhile, keep an eye on your lure. Now the cool thing with these poppers is if, if you fish it right, you can keep it in one spot. Look at this. All you wanna do is just jiggle the tip and really, really slowly reel it in. And it kinda of stays in one spot. So if you know there's some fish in one area that are kind of finicky, that are kind of just looking at it, slow your reeling speed down and kind of jiggle it around in one spot. Because if you're reeling it fast, it's jiggling around and moving forward really fast. All right, let's switch lures. I'm gonna show you a different one now, a different style. Cool. Nothing is biting the top water right now. It looks like the waves are starting to come in though. Okay. So that's why I love these tactical clips. I can just switch them out really quick. Now I've noticed that the SP minnows with the tactical clips swim a little bit differently. I'd prefer to just tie it onto an SP minnow. Huh. Yeah. I'm gonna use this glider right here. Oh, classic. This one looks great. So how are you fishing this? Very slowly, letting it sink, picking the tip up, reeling in the slack. Really good slash, bringing the tip up. And when I bring the tip up, it goes like this. And I want to bring it up again. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You kind of have to give this one action. Since it doesn't have a lip, you're going to have to move it. Now right, let's switch lure. Okay. Oh. This one's really nice. This is a Sibyle, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. Magic swimmer. 
Now this is very productive in the Cape Cod area, mm -hmm. very productive in the Northeast, and I'm sure it'll be pretty productive here. Just wait till you see the action. Oh wait. It looks okay. really great. It looks really great. Let it sink a little bit, and then just start reeling in slow retrieve. And every once in a while, stop. And then start again. A lot of times during that stop is when they'll really strike it and commit to it. A lot of times it follows, 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 and as soon as you stop and push it a little bit, that's when it hits it. Swim bait. Swim bait. Storm shad. Now with these, this is good because it doesn't have hooks on the bottom, so mm -hmm. it won't get hooked on a rock out there. The hooks are at the top, so it's a lot harder for it to get hooked. What you want to do with this is search. If you're casting it out, you can bring it back on the top, you can bring it back in the middle column, you can bring it back on the bottom column. So I'm doing a steady retrieve, and then all of a sudden giving a little pops like that. And under the water, it looks like this. That little jerky motion really entices fish. What you feeling? Well, I pretty much always catch fish on bucktails with the squiddy bits. That's yeah. Pretty much always pretty catch nice. fish. Look, this was from, I think this was from our last this trip. It's from Cape Cod. It's still good. It's still good. All right, there you go. See that end at it? Yep. See the end right here? Yep. Now I'm just bouncing it off the bottom. Once it hits the bottom, I'm picking it right back up. And letting it fall right back down. Oh, I'm on! Whoa! What'd you get? I told you, this bucktail always gets me fish. Yeah, you're right. You know what, I'm gonna save this for bait later. I'm gonna keep this and use it for bait. That one I was jigging the bottom. Right, the right bottom? by those rocks, yeah. I was feeling the rocks and just as soon as I feel it, I, I flick it up. But I'm, I'm looking for those big jacks that are running through. But honestly, I'm happy with whatever bites my life. Yeah. Especially if you're fishing a new place. Like these are not my home fishing grounds. I've never fished here before. But with using these techniques, you're able to catch fish anywhere you go. Woo! I'm on a, I don't know what this, oh, I'm on two fish! Oh my gosh! You took your trailer and your... Look at that! <laughs> two at a time! Whoa, it's being eaten by something, what? look at that! Yeah, the tide is coming in. Oh yeah. It's, it's Aaron's turn to give it a shot. It We're gonna practice the 13 foot pole. Yeah. Have you ever thrown a 13 foot pole? I have not. No, this is the longest pole. <laughs> you probably need yeah. some practice, huh? I would probably need some practice. Watch, what you're gonna you're catch for. one your first cast, I bet you. No. What are you using? Uh, I'm using the old classic, old reliable. Oh yeah, bucktail with some squiddy bits. We always catch fish on this. I think this is our new baby. We always catch fish on this. <laughs> All right. All right, give it a heave. So I'm gonna just do it close first because this is so light. What do you think? Yeah, I think there's a lot of fish actually sitting closer in. Yeah. Instead of actually heaving it way out there, honestly, I think your best bet is to keep it closer in for now. Okay. <gasps> oh, it's so 
a huge pull. No, I didn't. Ah! On. That's the basic rundown of how to use these popular surf rigs. You might have seen all of these in the store, or you may see people use them, uh, but I wanted to take the time to show you guys how I like to use them. I hope this was helpful. If you have any more questions, we've got a lot of information and ebooks online on our website. It's in the link in the description below. I've got a discount code for just my subscribers. If you subscribe, use this code, and then you can get a discount on anything in our store. I think these tips are pretty universal. You can use these tips and fish on any beach in the world and, and be able to hit something. We didn't hit much today, but that's fishing. But I'm gonna use that for bait later on this evening. Gonna cut it up, throw it out. Actually, I might do that now. Might do that now. See you guys.